Sister Shreen, we're going to have you come up and you can either use this microphone or we can use this one or wherever you want. Hello. Everybody excited about Bible school? Yes. I am. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to this. And we're going to have a good time, but you know, some of you might have seen it on the screen a while ago. The thing is, God has a plan. So we're going to be studying the life of Joseph. But before we get to Joseph, we've got to get to Jacob. But let me ask you a question. How many of you said, boy, I sure wish I had been born in the fat family over there? You wish you'd been born? Yeah, me too. You know, I was, I was, who's here is eight years old right now? Well, when I was eight years old, my daddy died. And I wanted a daddy. And I would look at these kids over here that have a daddy, and I think, I wish I was in that family. Because if I said that family, I don't know what daddy or maybe, you know, you don't have a daddy, or maybe you have you know, problems. You said, I wish I was in another family. Or maybe you said, oh, that kid over there, and he's had a bicycle, and I've never had a bicycle. My parents don't have money to buy me a bicycle. If I was a member of that family, I'd get me a bicycle. You ever thought of this stuff like that? Yeah, we wish that we were somewhere else. But you know what? Let me read you a verse here. Jeremiah 1, verse four and five. Then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, this is Jeremiah. He says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Do you believe that before you were ever born, that God knew you? What do you think? I think he knew me before I was even a king. You're right, absolutely, absolutely. And God knew from the very beginning where he wanted you to be. He knew from the very beginning which family he wanted you to be in. He knew at the very beginning whether he wanted you to have a bicycle or not. He knew very in the very beginning whether you would have a daddy or not, or a mama or not. From the very beginning, he knew that. And so all of us we said these lessons all the week, we're going to remember that God had a plan. Did you know he had a plan for you from the very beginning? Of course. Before you were born, he had a plan for you. Before you were ever even thought about. God had a plan for you. If you can always remember that, it'll make life a lot easier. If you say, boy, I wish I was in, over there and he got a bicycle because God had a plan for you. And so that's what we're going to talk about this week in Bible school. But first of all, you know, Joseph, we're going to talk about Joseph. We've got to start all the way back before he was born, don't we? If God had a plan for him before he was ever born, we're going to start back all the way back there. So we're going to start back with Jacob. Jacob was a young man, and uh, he decided his time for me to get married. So he wanted to know why. So he went way off to where he had, where all his relatives and things lived because he didn't want to marry somebody outside his own group. He wanted to go back. And he went back, and uh, he met this man named Laban, who was one of his relatives, but he didn't know them before then. But he met him, and uh, he was looking for a beautiful wife. And you know, he looked up there, and he saw the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. Rachel, would you come up here? He met this beautiful girl, and her name was Rachel. And he looked at her and he thought, that, I want that one. That's the one I want. Have you ever seen anybody more beautiful than this? And, oh, and Jacob, he took a look at her and said, I've got to have this one. No matter what, I've got to have this one. I hit him. He fell head over heels in love. First time he saw her, he wanted to marry her. She liked him, too. <laughs> Yeah, she thought, he, she thought he was pretty cute, too. And so, he goes to Laban, her father, and he says, I want this girl. I'm in love with this one. I will live with this one the rest of my life, and the sooner the better. Just let me marry you. You know what Laban says? He says, well, if you'll work for me for seven years, 
and you can have it. Seven years. And old Jacob says, I want her so bad, I'll do it. I'll work seven years. And it seemed like it was just days. Because he, every day, he'd go out into the fields, he'd go guard the sheep, he'd do his work, but in his mind, he was thinking of Rachel. He's going to get Rachel. He'd get hired and away. He'd go to bed at night, he'd dream about Rachel. Oh, I'm going to be a beautiful wife. I mean, seven years, the seven years gets finished, I'm going to get my beautiful wife. And he could hardly wait, and he finished his seven years. You going to go wait for your room. Okay. <laughs> so everything is getting all ready. Getting all ready. He's going to get right there. You think he was excited? I think he was really excited. He's going to get Rachel. He wanted Rachel. And he just, oh boy, I'm going to get Rachel. And so back then, when they would, when somebody would get married, you know, that type of people, what they do here, you know, have just a big party, and they just feasted, and they ate, and you know, they didn't have electricity like this, and it was kind of dark. So it was sort of, it was dark, it was dark, it was dark. <laughs> See very well. And two over there, you know, here, you know, you ever been to a wedding? I don't know if you're going to talk, but you know, if somebody's going to get married here, that bride goes off in there and puts on that beautiful white dress, and that man that's going to marry her, he doesn't get to see that dress until she walks down the aisle. You know, oh, there's my beautiful bride, and this beautiful dress. And he's so excited, oh, she's so beautiful. But what they did back then, over there, she had more a veil over her head. And so they were partying and they were feasting and they were getting all ready and Jacob is all ready for Rachel. And then Rachel comes in with a veil over her head. And he looks at me, there's my Rachel. Oh, here's my Rachel. He was so excited. He could hardly look there. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Oh, and he, he wanted to have it. Mary, the wedding is all over. He gets this beautiful, beautiful bride that, oh, boy, I've worked seven, seven years, and now I've got her. I've got my bride. And after the wedding ceremony was all over with, then they take the bell off. Just keeps saying, yeah, hey, 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 